We're here and with big the panel. Brother, and That's big brother. Big brother. Yeah, I was like, for it. I was you, for it. you guys saw us in the previous video. You saw how hard we're gonna be on oh, you guys. Yeah. yeah, I'm super hard. We got a full <laughs> what? No. Yeah, we got a full seven <laughs> hours today. It's gonna be intense. We're Looking hoping to see you guys. Seven hours. Yes. We, we, we seven think hours the odds are in our favor that we're gonna that get the cameraman in this bunch today, guys. I have probably not. Without wasting any time, low. let's get there. Got the power. The we're here guys, uh, we're gonna be starting the auditions right now. Dude, Everything, what the fuck just happened? I everything's set up, we're ready to go. Don't worry about it. Let's do this guys. Alright, let's get it yeah. on. Yeah, Alright, get the same seats. Uh, already got the cameras all tripoded. Nope, we're staying here. Guys, I already went out into the lobby. I did that in the little inner rim. These guys. <laughs> um, there's a lot of people here. So it's gonna be run and gun guys. I don't want this video to be too long for you. So we're actually gonna take the highlights, the best of the candidates that we're thinking about choosing. If somebody's just not making the cut, you might not even get to see that person in the video guys. We're gonna take this very seriously, all business, just like the so previous the video. video ends right here. He's already got the attitude. Nice job. Go. You want to get right. some water? Yes, please. Yes, Thank you, please. sir. Please. Thank you, sir. Didn't even have to snap for that. <laughs> snap for all right, Swift, you ready? You yeah, of course. Now that you audition, I'm going to be looking at you with, at a, you with a laser with a vision. Laser beam vision. Okay, Jeff. He, he's he got it. But Your it name can't be Swift. You can't be Jeff, just so we're clear. Well, I know, but I'm just saying to Jeff. I said you got it. I'm allowed to talk behind the camera also. Sorry. All right, guys, we're doing things a little differently. There's so many people out there. I'm actually going to tell them that we already have the cameraman just to fuck with them. And then we're going to get started. Let's do it. All right. What's up, guys? I'm assuming most of you are here for the competition. Um, it's really hard for me to say right now, but uh, we actually already have the cameraman. He's right over there. Dane Swift. What's up? Uh, so if you guys came out, and I don't know how far, but yeah, we. No, I, I, no, I genuinely am sorry. Like we. Nice one, Swift. Thanks. No. <laughs> came all the way from Atlanta. Came all the way from Atlanta. Oh shit, dude. Seriously? No, no, I didn't like it. Shit, Juggies, we got somebody from Atlanta. From Atlanta. Illinois. 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 Yeah. 30 minutes away from here. 30 no, I'm just kidding, guys. You guys are <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, come on, guys. This is serious business. I, I love a lot of you guys' faces. I, 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 I want to see energy. But I didn't do this on Thursday. I didn't I didn't do this. I didn't talk to anyone. But I, I want you guys. I'm really looking for like the best of the best right now. Swift's just filling in. I dare not hire Swift. He sucks. Um, <laughs> but I'm looking for somebody to kick some ass. We're going to be playing pretty serious in there. Um, so like, I know a lot of you guys are fans. We can take pictures, whatever, afterwards. If you guys want to stick around or if you guys want to do it after the audition. Um, but for the most part, you know, this is, this is serious business. It's full pay time, you know, full time pay position. I want to see the best. Um, who wants to go first? I want to go first. You want to go first? You got it, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad. <laughs> Dude, we got a guy from California, got a guy from Atlanta, and dude, they were pissed. They were like, what the fuck? The guy from Atlanta was like, dude, I fucking dodged hurricanes for your ass. <laughs> but it was just a gag. Just a prank. Let's get started, Swift. Go get those guys. I don't want to be anywhere near them. They're angry. Okay. They're frustrated. They all hated Swift, too. I was like, Swift's the camera, and they all looked at Swift. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> ginger. You gotta. Uh, you don't have the vest on? That's a shame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're the first one getting taken out. Let's go! Alright, guys, this is the first one of the day. Who, I honestly, I already like this guy. Just out of, he, he volunteered instantly. I said, Who wants to go first? Boom. Alright, man, uh, could you kick off with your full name, age, and where you live? Uh, my name's Cameron Lindsay. I'm 19, and I live in the Atlanta area. What's, uh, what's your experience with the camera? Uh, I've been making little videos and films since I was a kid. Uh, just recently I started with my buddy, uh, you've actually met him, God Cringe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At VidCon, I believe. He's uh, a dumbass. Yeah, he is. Can I ask you real quick? Uh, you said you're from Atlanta, right? Yes, I am. Are you willing to relocate actually, you the, got this? Actually, I'm living in my car. Oh, so, oh. so, I mean... So that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, my house is on wheels. So I can nice. just fly back and ride, be back here the same day. Let's just ask him this one question. Right? Yeah. Um, 
You're familiar with Jesse's series? Oh, yeah, I've so seen you, it. You knew both cameramen, Parker and Corn, right? Yeah. Well, who would you describe yourself as, as skill-wise with a camera? I'm most like, uh, probably Corn. I'd have to say. Why? I, I actually kind of provoke, kind of, I'm more like Parker because I have more of a personality. Okay. Uh, so I'd be adding a little bit of my own personality to So you want to be in front of the camera, kind of playing a character as well? Uh, I could. Uh, I could also play a character behind the camera as well. We got your contact info. I'm actually Please. staying in room 223. Oh, no what? Uh, just, just for tonight? Uh, yeah, just for tonight. I don't know if you guys want to pop by, chill, talk some more. Uh, that's where I'm going to be staying. Yeah, we're not trying to chill. <laughs> um, nah, that's great. Uh, but you got my email and then also my phone number. Cool, man. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. Yeah, got a friend to school on. <laughs> hey, that's my person. What kind of car you think you drove? Next. All right, guys. Really, really looking for somebody, man. Uh, Cameron, we love you, man. But uh... no. We need, <laughs> we need somebody that actually just had to work at camera. Yeah, yeah. We, we're not. We can't do training. We cannot do training. Living in Atlanta, out of the car. I mean, that's something that works, but we can't train you. It, it's got. You got to know what you're doing. Swift locked himself out. Yeah. Bye, Swift. All right. No, we're done. We're done here. So what, aren't you a fireman? Break that shit down, dude. Yeah, just break the grass. Can I help you? Yeah, you locked me out. I just unlocked. No gingers allowed, bitch. Yeah. All right, Brad. You go by Brad. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, a little cover letter and then a resume after that. I saw Eagles Landing. So you watched a full psycho series? Yeah, awesome. it's pretty much the entirety of it. So are you are you coming in on this uh, as a as a fan? But also, what what cameraman experience are you bringing? Well, I've been doing YouTube since I was roughly 12 years old, but. I don't count some of my earlier experience as professional experience because, you know. Would you let us see those videos? Uh, unfortunately, my older videos are gone and that's probably for the best, but I do have videos dating up to about four years old now uh, that I am willing to show. I've got like, I think 7,700 subs now at this point. Nice. What kind of videos do you make? Uh, well, this is gonna actually kind of touch home with you a little bit in that my biggest video ever was a clown video back during that whole mm -hmm. clown trend. Mm -hmm. It was a staged video that I made and it was just, it was crazy that it got like 400,000 views in a mm -hmm. week. I was like, what is this? So I made a sequel to it and then I made like two or three more videos after it and they all did like at least 60,000 views. But that's been, I'd say the majority of my experience. How old are you, bro? Uh, I'm 21. Effingham, is that a real place? Yeah, in Illinois. And yeah. how is that gonna work? Uh, well, I am 21. Uh, I do have a source of income online as well as in real life. So uh, if you know, it is, if it was necessary, which it would be necessary, I would be able to exactly. shift my life out here while I'm still young. And you know, I don't know if you would do a year long or however long, but I could move out here for that duration of time. How long would be ideal for you? I mean, I'm still young. Uh, I've got a girlfriend, but she doesn't need to worry about it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Love that energy. Yeah, right? Love it. <laughs> no. So you figure you have better odds coming way out to East Bumble. I mean, take a chance. I, be I believe in the you know the new age of media and whatnot. You know, I believe that there are careers to be had that aren't just at a desk or you know, on the phone or whatever, you know, there can be jobs that you do where you're making a full income just straight from your own home. Well, you're not sick, are you? No, no, no. I just, I have you're something. Nervous. You're throat. nervous, so that your, your throat's a little bit dry, right? The universe hates you right now. Yeah, it, it really, really does. does. Right. Any other questions? Let's just hang out for a sec. Actually, yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good.
Keep it right next to my balls. Yeah. Nice. Ball. Do you want half this? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Man, let's give it to him. Your handshake? A little bit. I mean, not when I'm filming. Not when I'm filming. No, you're just, filming. So where's your line at? Where's my line at? What, like, how far are you willing to go? Like, is there anything that you wouldn't? Film? Where's the comfort zone? Yeah. Did that make you uncomfortable? If that made you uncomfortable, it's not gonna work. No, I, I would say my comfort zone is well beyond that. I mean, devil inside. Did that make you uncomfortable? Did you watch that? Yeah, it, it didn't really make me uncomfortable personally, just because I've been on the internet and. I've seen things get way worse, and I personally, at times, have acted in, I would say, equally bad situations. Oh, tell me more. Well, we also did, I've done a couple different series, not many of them have much traction, but the Kicked Out series, which was a little strange. Um, what was that, Seagulls Landing? No, it was, nah. I've been kicked out of my house, and... I had this group of friends, one of them was actually sitting out there. He's auditioning too, or just coming No, he, he just came for moral support. Oh, okay. But, uh... Do you need support regularly, or is that... No, it How was just... How many people did you have in that car? Just me and him. But it was just a 14-hour drive, and... Did he get you sick? No, I, I mean, I hope... Go we'll grab him. Go grab him. Go grab him. All right. What are, what are your thoughts on uh, your boy here trying out for the position? I think it's a big opportunity for him. He's been, uh, he's been wanting to move forward with the whole cameraman thing, and I think he's done pretty good at it. What so about far. you? What do you mean? I like your build. You, would you be interested in the cameraman position? <laughs> I saw you sitting out there, and I, we were talking about the guys, uh, but he said you were just... Tyler, but... He does. Yeah, yeah, he does. I've never shot anything before, so... Yeah. Do you, have any, you have good intuition? I like you. seem personable. Yeah, I guess. You could say that. Do you like talking to people? Yeah, I do. He's got a good way about him. Yeah. What are your strengths and weaknesses? I'm a fast learner. I, I know how to adapt. Um, I'd say my weaknesses are... Probably repetition. I don't like I don't like repeating things. Okay. Like things They're fresh, routine. new. Yeah. Every day, something different. Cameron, well, we're gonna contact you. Uh, just put down a cell number. Huh? All right, guys. Okay. Brad, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you too. Cameron, hang out a little bit. Okay. Stay around. Keep it ready, Brad. Yeah, me too. All right. On a real note. Is he good? I do think so. I like I like his creativity. He always comes at me with these wacky ideas about shooting something. And you're just along for the ride, like, always. So were you in the uh, Spooktober or the, the other series? Clown that stuff. Done? I wasn't in the clown stuff, but I knew he always talked to us about it, because uh, I lived with uh, some buddies that he was really close to, and he always came over and just, like, talked to us about all of his ideas, so. Always real passionate about it and stuff? Yeah. Almost, like, so passionate, you're just like, geez, Brad, like, come on, man, like. I mean, it is, it is all he's really been doing for this, I mean, because I've only known him for like two years now, okay. and the whole time I've lived in Effingham where he lives, I, I've, he's been doing this thing, so, really? yeah, mm. about a year. Go grab him, bring him back in here, don't right. tell him anything though. <laughs> well, actually, wait, 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 when you come, when you bring him back in, uh, stay in here and just literally tell him, uh, be like, yo man, uh, they're at par for me the job, I just, is it cool, <laughs> is it cool if I take it? You want me to say that in here? Yeah, yeah, bring him in, yeah, yeah. Right. thanks man. How's it going? Hey, yeah, good to see you guys. So I guess I just wanted to let you know that they're offering me the job. That's good. I mean... I mean, is that okay with you? I mean, I know the intent this whole time was like coming down and you potentially getting it, so... Dude, I mean, honestly, I should probably be a little more mad than I am, but <laughs> at the same time, I understand, like... With, did you tell them about the kid and the family that you have to move down here? <laughs> What's this? Oh, that... I have a child. They wouldn't mind though. They would move out? Mm-hmm. Okay. In a heartbeat. I just don't want things to be weird between you guys, so if you're... Yeah, no, no. Nothing will be weird. Well, cool. okay. Can't see why. Well, thanks, dude. It's really considerate of you. <laughs> what the... <laughs> nah, uh, you got a good friend here, man. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a homie. He's, he vouched for you pretty hard. We got some good details. Uh, Cameron, thanks, man. Yeah, Appreciate no it. We're gonna grill him some more. Alright, nice meeting you. You too. We've only been really, like, held up on a few, and you're one of those, and, uh... That's awesome. Yeah, it's clear you got some passion for this, and I like that. I definitely uh, appreciate it. See so ya, yeah, man. Uh, thanks for putting up with our shit. 
You passed the test, clearly, if you want this other half of gum. Yes, man. No, it's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> See, we'll be in touch, man. I'll, I'll be giving you a call. Have a great Keep day. Keep it rigid, man. Take care. What a sport. What a sport, <laughs> Juggies. I like that. I like that he was willing... I think he still, even then, was genuinely confused and thought his friend was getting the job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he was willing to be, he was cool. Right, yeah. I noticed his friend, uh, who has a kid, didn't have a wedding ring on, so I don't know if he fed us bullshit on that one. Oh, they're yeah. with us too? Yeah. Maybe. They could play make, play. I saw the yeah. smiles on their face going uh -huh. back and forth. Like maybe there was a wink exchange when yeah. they came back in, something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh. What'd you guys think? I liked them, right? Yeah, I thought he was I good. liked them, yeah. And I, and you know, that's why I said about the nervous thing, right? It wasn't expecting you to be so cold. <laughs> because you were, we just sat here in silence. Like, what was that thing with the gun? Oh, like, oh, I God. might give it to you. Oh yeah, my God! Yeah, I was just like, oh. All right, no, I'm just getting annoyed. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, like, oh, oh, I know, I felt like grabbing that. You know, just give him the damn. Just <laughs> Holy shit! Move minute. on from this. <laughs> um, yeah, I liked him. He said he was writing stories. He is a yeah. fan of the content. He answered the, the corn question. He was spot on. Yeah. Yep. He yeah. was self aware enough. I know. To, I saw you look at me and after he, he answered the corn question. Yeah, I was yeah. Like, oh, wow. He's definitely good at networking if uh, one sort of source of his income comes from kind of building up Twitter posts. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's so kind that's of a pretty that's pretty good. Cool innovative uh, things and he's got the highest mark so far from me, so Yeah. Nine nine years on YouTube. I could not yeah. Not relate to that. Like, holy crap, the man doesn't give up. But I hate to be his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, I'm not. Weird. Hopefully, I don't get the hit. Wait, like till, I'm his girlfriend. wait till she sees this. Mm -hmm. Woo! What if his girlfriend's. Think of the ratings. Wife? I, think he, I think he might be single after this. Maybe. Yeah, I think there's a good chance of that. Oh, Cameron will get back with his wife. But dating McDermott's is even better. <laughs> you get paid for it. That's, that's just disturbing. Next! Pretty hopeful on Brad. I thought that was that was solid. Yeah, right? He was the best one so far. Yeah, we're gonna have to finally seen two people. Calm down. Hi, how you doing? Hello, how's Great. it going? I'm here to audition. I'm gonna be singing an original song I wrote called Uneven. My name is Juliet Riley. You wanna write that down? Okay. This isn't a singing comp, this isn't American Idol, this is a, for the cameraman position. Yeah, it says it right there. You get the fuck out. Yeah. We're looking for somebody to film, not yeah. play guitar and look pretty. Get out. Yeah, no, this is a waste of time. Go. What are you thinking? Just had to work a camera. I know. We had Swift audition the other day, and now we got this girl We're coming never in. Was there a sign on the door that says singing? I don't think so. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, oh, we have a special guest judge. Yeah. Yeah. Is joining us. It's going to be the more extreme, nice version of Paula. That means Uncle Larry can now unlock, unleash the dickish. What the hell does that mean? But you know, <laughs> you know how you know when YouTube ad revenue is down? Yo. You get four people squeezed on a little ass table all right, like all this. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he's got a valid point. I hear it. At, yeah, I get it. It's well, pretty tall. Yeah. Jesse. <laughs> it costs a lot to rent these rooms and ad revenue is down. And it should come with a decent Too size soon. table. Too soon. Yeah. All right, you guys. guys are being so mean. Ne well, that's how we're going to be in these auditions. Next. Oh. You're singing with ads. All I'm right. So Good to have you. Yeah. Now, don't be too nice. Guy. You'll, you'll see. I don't want you to coddle these kids. They're and I say coddled. kids. So I coddle them to Larry. Yep. Go by any nicknames? Straight boys. Lando. What is it? Lando. Lando. Yeah, my, my second name is Orlando. Oh, cool, man. Uh -huh. You prefer Lando? Um, yeah, either way. All right. How old are you? 24. Can we call you Land? I'm 24. Land, yeah. Awesome. Sweet. All right, Land, we're going to have you uh, hang out on the blue X there. If you want to put your bag down, it's totally cool. All right. Don't put it over there. Uh, really? No, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Over no, no. there. Like no, 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 no. You can put it wherever. Like that, no, no. That, that corner, that corner. Put it, just put it, cover the black thing. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. that'd be perfect. Oh, no, 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 actually, no, that could be a, a, a fire hazard. Yeah, just put it, um... Can I carry it? Nah, just put it over there, should be good. Yeah, right in the corner. So Four, where are you yeah. from? I'm from here, well, New York, Queens, New York. How long the drive is that? Two hours and 30 minutes. Uh, right off the top, how, how's that gonna work? What do you mean? Are you gonna live here or are you making the commute? I'll make the commute. I don't mind driving. That's, that's, five, that's five so, hours. That's five hours. So we, we couldn't day. do anything like off I mean, the top. I made it, it would have to be like so, two and a half hours notice at least. Yeah, so if we had to uh, shoot quickly because some people's schedules are a little rough, especially with the, we're gonna have a big cast coming up. Right. Um, 
so I'm gonna have to be really on top of my times, I guess. Pranker. Uh, yeah, have you used that camera? Uh, so, uh the, what is it, Canon? No. I no. like the Sony Nex 5. Okay, is it DSLR? No, it's not. Okay, uh, so if I, if I asked you to give me a, a wide shot, what would you do? Put it on manual, change the, I guess, change the lens. It depends on which, what camera we're talking. You shoot on manual? Yeah, I like shooting on manual. It depends though, it depends what scenery I'm on or, you know, where I'm standing at. You've been watching the channel for a while? To be honest, no. No? No. I was, I was using the bathroom and I was scrolling through Facebook, right? And I, one of your videos showed up, something about, oh, it's an amazing channel, so it's some, I guess it was some ad. Some bullshit. Yeah. And then I went to McJuggernuggets. Right, right. And I subscribed. Oh, this guy, right? And I looked, I was, I'm like, all right, so he has like 3.5 million subscribers. And, Reasonable. Yeah, and I was like, okay, sweet. And then the first video I saw was the real life audition. Oh. Like, so I was interested in that. Yeah. yeah. So I clicked on it and I saw the video. I'm like, wow. So did you subscribe? Yeah, of course. Okay. And awesome. little bell on. My only concern yeah, is, yeah. is still the, the travel the time. Drive. Even though you said it was two hours, you can't guarantee two hours driving because you hit traffic, traffic jams. Right. Because so we film it all times. And five hours, if you put in a 12 hour day, you know, working for Jesse yeah. and five hours, that's 17 hours. Yeah. Right. I mean, I would have to see if. I mean, if it's a stable, if something stable, I would look out something close nearby or something. Does, does acting interest you at all? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Okay. Have a great day. Thank yeah, you. See you, man. Bye, guys. Hold on. So if you were a bomb patrol, what was in that? Uh, Did you smell anything? Did you smell anything? Do you think it hacked everything in your computer? Let me check your computer real quick. Don't you dare touch that shit. Put the camera back on. Next! Uh, how do you pronounce your name? <laughs> Idris. Idris. Do you yeah. go by any nicknames? Uh, Ed, Idris, or... What do you like? I guess Ed's similar. Ed. Ed. How old are you? 23. What is your school experience? Uh, so I graduated um, <laughs> ITT Tech with Network Systems Administration Associate's Degree uh, back okay. in 2016. Um, yeah. June 2006. So you did that, and now you're trying to be a YouTube cameraman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to entertain people. Like, I've always had that outgoing personality, and I kind of went to school just because my dad was like, you need to go to school. And I've always, like, made little skits and random things throughout the years, just randomly and stuff. So you have a YouTube channel? Uh, I do, and I actually hired a camera guy for a series I was going to do. Uh, and so you've been series. here before, so you've been where I'm sitting right now. Yeah. And so, all right, so tell me everything then that I would want to hear, please. Because you've hired a cameraman, so you know what you yeah. were looking for. Damn, you yeah. made that much money you could afford a cameraman? I mean, <laughs> I was DJing on the side, too, oh, and okay. stuff you like still that. still DJ? I Not right now, not out here. What was your name? <laughs> DJ Delinquent. Is that because you misbehave? <laughs> I just sound Is cool. that funny? Depending on how you look at it, but uh, you're smiling a lot, and I'm, you know, we want to take this seriously, because um, yeah. when it comes time to film, I, I don't joke around. Uh, I take He's things very seriously. Yeah. Um, big pain. I have to deal with this guy a lot, but I'm looking and for I'm, somebody who I'm can come wonder. willing to seriously kick ass, hmm. um, follow direction well, and I'm not, I'm not really looking for a yes man per se. Yeah. Um, but I want somebody who can listen, work hard, um, but then also can give me some insight into some stuff with the camera. So um, I think more than anything, I'm looking for a camera experience. Have you used one of those before? Uh, yeah, when I was DJing, I would also help out with the photo booth, and I think they used a T5i for that. And then okay. also with the videography guy, there was times where it was like super hectic. So he would need like a certain angle at a certain time that he couldn't get at the same time. So I would just help film certain things. Uh, what other film experience do you have? Uh, other than that, not really any other than my phone. What what strengths weaknesses? Uh, I don't want to sound arrogant when I say these things, but uh, um, is that a weakness? No, I just don't want to come <laughs> off as you know a cocky person. But uh, basically, things that are gonna set me aside from everybody else out here is mostly my drive and my reason for being here. Basically, like what's inside of me. Like, um, what is that? Explain to me. You got a passion. Yeah, uh, what gets you excited? Entertaining people, what making about people it? laugh, and uh, just being involved in the creative process. Thanks for coming I out. I hurt my hand at work, so be gentle. Man. 
I will. I will. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. yeah, Thanks, nice man. Yeah. Do that for me, and we'll be in yeah. touch, man. Okay. I would also yeah. quit my job on camera and make it pretty entertaining for the viewers too. I like that. I like that. All right. Cool. Thanks, man. Keep it reading. I zoomed out like 80% of that. Yeah, it was a lot. Uh, it's a shame. He's a really nice guy. It's it's hard sometimes, you know, having to be mean uh, yeah. or you know say say they don't get the job right to their face, but. Uh, he had a lot of energy. I loved when he started talking about having a message behind the content, having an emotional response to it. Like that's what he wants to do and give that to people. Mm -hmm. And and that's really, I haven't heard that answer yet. So that's why I was yeah. really holding on to this guy. Like he really cares yeah. about like what, how the audience reacts. And that's storytelling. That's good storytelling is how somebody responds to a story or characters going through situations. So it almost sounds to me like he needs an escape from his job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Similar to, uh, Jabril, remember him, Jay, who came, he kind of just needed an escape from his home life yeah. and all that. And it's like, hey, like, I get it, but uh, we need you to bring value to us. Next, give me that smart food, Julia. It's not smart. We got, we got a snack here, guys. You got to keep the brain. We got one piece of gum left. We got a lot of guys. Here we go. What's your name? Uh, Ryan. And how old are you? 19. And where do you live? Uh, Hillsborough, New Jersey. How far away is that? Uh, about an hour and 30 minutes. So you'd be making that drive or you'd be moving? Uh, I'd be down to make the drive. Are they currently in school or? Oh uh, yeah, I go to Raritan Valley Community College. It's like Bridgewater, New Jersey. Do you have a nervous tick? Or? Uh, no, I just okay. like just don't snap. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah just have, yeah, have anything. And what are we getting out of this? Uh, you're getting okay. Can help you out make banger videos. Uh, and what, in your definition, would be a banger video? Um, uh, a really good video, you know that everybody. What makes a good video? Just like quality, quality content. content. What is that? that quality, like you know, like something that like if they click on the video, they're like, wow, this is really good. Do you watch a lot of YouTubers? Uh, yeah, I do. I've been watching YouTube for a while. I've seen like all different types of channels. Like, who's like your favorite? Who do you... My favorite? Uh, I'd have to go with Smosh. Like, I've been watching them since I was like. Why? Really... Why do you like Smosh? Uh, they're just funny. Like the way that they uh, perform in their videos. They just make people laugh. Are you familiar with the cameraman Corn and the cameraman Parker? Yeah. Uh, as far as your filming style, who do you think you align yourself more with? Uh, probably Parker, just the way like, Why? I don't know, he like interacted more, I guess, throughout the series and stuff. That's something you'd be looking to yeah, do more, interacting. Interact. Okay. Well, everything sounds good? Thank you. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to you. Nice to meet you. Take care. Have a good one, man. <laughs> Have a nice one, man. Okay, let's keep reading. Kids not knowing how to shake hands, right? Yeah. They don't Parker teach it. They don't teach it. Yeah, Actually, I was a well, teacher in high school, like demanded that we all had a, like a handshake right. in my class. Yeah, really? Yeah, you just like shake your yeah, hands, like, Jesus. <laughs> well, luckily, it's not a handshaking uh, job position, but it is a hand-centric uh, carrying position. I don't know what to make of this guy. I honestly didn't really receive much from the interview. All I got that I actually liked was he liked Smosh, which was rare to hear that because they make skits and stuff. I don't know one way or another what I'm getting myself into yeah. with him. Um, all right, guys. here all the way down the end of the table. Down there. <laughs> We're gonna jump in the next one. Next. Uh, yep. That's what that means. Where do you live? Uh, Mount Vernon, Ohio. Holy shit. Yeah. How far is that? Uh, eight hour drive. Eight hour. How how is this gonna work? Are you are you moving? Um, I, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's pretty much gotta yeah. be a yes. I've been, I've been saving up my money for a long time and looking to move somewhere because my town is really crappy. And if I picked you, dude, I would totally make sure you got some nice accommodations around here. Can I just say that Ohio must be pretty crappy because that's the exact same thing mm -hmm. the other person I was that's born true. there and I moved. It's, it's the most uneventful state ever. Alright man, what is your camera experience? I've been filming like home movies since I was like 12. VHS? Uh, yeah. My mom had a VHS camera and then before I knew video cameras existed, I had a flip phone and you could like record sound and stuff. So I record sound with my friends, like we were hosting a radio show or something. Um, and then when I found out my mom had a camera, I used that and filmed uh, home videos. So at a young age, you've been, you've been dipping, dipping yeah. into the film in any yeah. way. Why do you, why do you want this job? Um, it's literally everything that I've wanted to do. Uh, I love filming. I love the experience that I get when filming. Um, what, what do you mean? Like capturing something on film and being behind the camera and being able to help make a documentary or a short film is, I just love being a part of like, oh, like perfect camera angles and I can help like 
uh, with this certain shot or like I'm always thinking of perfect like camera angles for stuff in my head. Perfect? Yes. Perfect. So if I asked you for a two shot, what would that mean? Uh, I can't remember. Can't remember? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, I graduated last take, year. Take a guess. So. Take a guess. Hey man, uh, give me a two shot right now. And then you got the camera and you're like, what, what would you do? Uh, uh, I'd film two different shots of something, a, a certain set or a shot, or film two different angles of a shot. It's just two people. It's just two people two in people. a shot. This would be a two shot. Boom. Nice to meet you, man. Nice Thanks for coming you. out. Um, I got your contact info on here, and I'll be in touch. All right, cool. Um, how, how are you with acting? Do you like acting? Yeah. Cool. All right. Nice man. Thanks. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Tom. Nice meeting you. Keep it rigid. <laughs> yeah, the sound. He's young. He's young. Uh, young and boring. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty oh, straightforward. Trying to wish you. Jeffrey's out. been bored for a while. All right, guys. Next. I hate to keep bringing Brad up, but I'm looking for another one. Good now, like honestly. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I've been having a great day today, guys. Um, I'm here for the Me Jogging Nuggets cameraman position, obviously. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> what? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Corn? From Legit, California? though? Is that you under that thing? It's me, Corn. Nah. What the hell? Yeah. How come I show your face a little bit, 100, man? 100% real. Because that's that shit 100% real. 100% real. You come all the way out? All the way from Cali. <laughs> Bitch. Yo, who the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hey, so cool. I mean, it's just a prank, bro. Chill. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, hey, wait, 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 chill. Who the hell was that? What? <laughs> just like corn, right? Yo, he just dipped just that like fuck corn. out, man. Just like that. Why can't we hurt that guy? That was pretty funny. That was yeah, pretty good. That made what the fuck? Day. I legit thought that was him, dude. My heart was racing. I was like, yo, is he about to audition right I now? I thought it was too. He would have got it. I would have been like, you're hired. It looked like, <laughs> like, like, yeah. And it sounded low enough. Like, and yeah, yeah. Like, he had that he stuff had a little, going on. I too. Did, and even yeah. after I pulled it up, I was like, yo, dude had, I, I yeah. thought he grew his hair out or something because he had the little kind of fro going. That was, that's, wow. that was fucking funny. Wow. What a little troll. Yeah, really. Swift, I blame you, dude. You gotta be better at it. Yeah. You told me to go get the next guy, so I got a guy that was dressed in a costume. I them. All right, my bad. Probably some wrong. He wasn't even auditioning. Gave zero fucks. Next! Yeah, get somebody for real this time. I like that guy. You Yeah, was he actually... That was like the one guy I liked. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could find him. Go yeah. down. He's, He's probably like a pro. At, He's probably too good for our shit. Dude. He's like probably halfway to like Pittsburgh by now. Yeah, he was fast. He was. Definitely fast and swift. Definitely. Oh, geez, thanks. I appreciate that. No, oh, let's talk swift. You're fired. All right, all right. Uh, so we're here with Nick right now. Not Corn. I don't know what the... We had a guy come in, just come in. I don't know if you saw him running out. Uh, looked... I thought it was... Anyway. Yeah, it was um, the highlight of my day. Yeah. What's your full name, age, and where you live? Nicholas Urgenis. I'm 21, and I live in Cedarville, New Jersey. And shit, well, uh, that's, that's close. close. How far? How far away is that from here? Uh, from here? Yeah. yeah. It was about 35, 40. That's actually one of the closest we've had. Do you have any uh, experience, just out of curiosity, with social media and stuff? Yeah, I've okay. been doing YouTube for, honestly, since 06. Like, I mean, they were, t they were terrible videos back then. But, you know, I've, I've worked my way up and I've just been, I've been editing since and I know how to film with, like, a DSLR. Are all your videos on a channel I can watch? Um, I have a few on Regenis, my last name. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I was born in Bridgeton. I have been doing, I, I've just been always obsessed with like computers and technology. So like when YouTube and stuff came along, I've always liked to learn how to do like, con I, li I like like the social media aspect of it, how you have like fans and how you could like project your media anywhere around the world and how you could, look, you know, meet new people around the world. So I thought it was always cool that you could upload videos to like YouTube. And like I've, I also did like live streaming on a Ustream when it was a, a thing back then, Ustream TV. What do you love most? What gets you excited? Just like viewership. Like, viewership? Uh, just basically like interacting with other people. What is like your long-term goal, kind of in life? Um, I mean honestly we've been working a lot towards YouTube, but I, I mean I don't expect to get that 
that far. Like, I'm, that's not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for more like a computer science degree. Yeah, that's you know what I'm seeing. Uh, yeah. Applied science, network management, and cybersecurity. Yeah, like I, I know a lot about computers and stuff, but like YouTube is definitely like my main hobby. So if that makes sense. Like that's my biggest creative outlet. I don't want to assume anything. So I'm just, this this is where your passion is, or your passion is with YouTube. Um, Honestly, mainly it's been YouTube lately. That's like an older resume and I didn't get to retype it up too. Okay, so when you're working, you're thinking of YouTube? Mm -hmm. Would you be strictly in front of the camera, behind the camera? What's your ideal situation? Anywhere. What, what is your ideal situation? My ideal? Probably behind. Probably behind and I film a lot for our channel, honestly. So you're mostly the one behind the camera and yes. they're acting? Yep. What are you looking to get out of this? Uh, basically, uh, filming experience. Like I, I haven't had like basically like a real filming gig. I used to film for like school and stuff. Okay. I was in a, I took three filming classes in high school. And what what would we be getting out of this arrangement? What, what would you provide for us? Um, I'd hopefully provide a good filming experience. Like uh, I'm pretty pretty capable like with the cameras and the knowledge. So I know like certain shots and like I could basically I know how to you know I know how to edit and stuff. So if you need any backup with that. So you could give me a two shot right now. Is that a trick question? <laughs> Would a two shot be like a second shot? Or is that just like a medium? You don't know what a two shot is? No. Uh, do you know what a wide shot is? Yes. What is that? Is like a wider angle shot. Uh, I like you, man. I, I think that's cool. You're bringing some value and stuff. Uh, I, I think the most important thing I'm concerned with and, and where I get held up on is like, can you operate a camera efficiently? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I. I I'm, I'm gonna watch your hashtag triple M, and I'm assuming there's some stuff on the channel I can yeah yep. get up to date on and then see see your work. Awesome man, yeah. thanks for coming out. No Appreciate it. Don't forget to download Storyfire app. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 That likes him. You liked him? What'd yeah. you guys think? That yeah, was actually a I think pretty cool t-shirt he had. Yeah. What I, was yeah. his t-shirt? It was a car. There was nothing on it. It was just a car. That was like the best t-shirt. Why are you here? Why are you looking at her when you said that? Because I don't want to see a reaction. <laughs> How come she didn't ask him if he could think? She just assumed he couldn't? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> he, see, he could do everything. I really liked him though. Yeah. What, what was your number one selling point for him? I... I, like okay, I'm you going to fuck him. No. <laughs> oh my god, no! I'm going off of like like intelligence, right, right. Like, fact, like like their their personality and just how they react to certain things. And I felt like he was in it. He he reminded me. He had a lot of emotional maturity. Yeah. It reminded me of Corn with how he spoke, honestly. Yeah, yeah. and he yeah. seemed yeah. like he would do what you say, but he would also provide things yeah. like. He he seemed passionate. It about was it. it was Corn, but he was really into it. Yeah. 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 I agree. Exactly. With, I, I agree with everything you guys said. Really, that the whole key is what you just said earlier about seeing his work. Yeah. And, yeah. And everything. I like the personality. What? I he lives McLaren. close. Yeah. He lives close, guys. That's a huge yeah. selling point. I love. Huge. He has the lake. And I don't think he would be overbearing. His you know, friends have that personality really cool. yeah. would be overbearing. You can tell a lot about people by who they're friends with, and I feel like he's friends with creative people, and in their spare time, mm -hmm. they make YouTube videos. That's yeah, you know look, really they're celebrating them. out there. Swift, get a cat, get some video of that, get him celebrating. Wait, who was that other guy with him? That was. Yo, was that the bitch that was in that corn thing? Oh, really? Swift, is that is it? you? Can talk yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah, it's him. Are you serious? Yeah. Open that door yellow. That's a fire cave. <laughs> Yo, are you corn? Huh? Were you the one in the corn costume? Yeah. Yo. Yo, you're that dude that was wearing that corn shit? Yeah. What you doing, man? What are you hopping that shit? Yeah. Why? What do you hop it? You break a law? I'm not breaking law, I'm breaking law. You good, bro? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll come back in there. What? I'll come back in there right now. Come on in, boy. My uncle's got like a baton in here. You serious? Yeah, I'll come back in here right now. What you want? I just want you I just want I'll shave that little goatee off your face. It's not little. What? I've had this thing growing for years. What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to fuck up our show here? No, I'm trying to be the next camera. Man, nah, fuck out of here. Don't come back. Next. Yeah, I was ready. Next. I was ready to throw you it. had it. I was, I was kidding. I wasn't kidding. Uncle Larry has that shit ready. 
Dude, these kids, man, these fucking trolls. Dude. Next. Guys, doing something a little differently. Um, we're actually getting a Juggy candidate to be one of the judges. They're actually gonna replace me. What are you doing? Huh? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Because this is gonna be, what the fuck? Wait, how Where did you get that? that? over there. Where did you get that? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? What's up, doing good? Hey. Um, is it your resume? All right, cool. Oh, hold on, stand right at the edge. Gotcha. I'll take that. Had a little bit of trouble surviving TSA there. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, I'm just gonna put this in a pile, and uh, you're gonna do me a favor and sit right down in that chair. All right. I'll take the bag. I gotcha. There's not a bomb in here, right? No. All right, cool. Uh, so you just sit down in that chair, and uh, we're actually gonna get the next person. Uh, you have a note card here. You have okay. some questions. You're gonna be actually interviewing our next uh, contestant. So I'm looking to you to record good notes. Be critical. If you don't like something, write it down on the note. Um, also make sure. When the person comes in, you have them fill out one of these. This is pretty much just stating that they're cool with being filmed and that they are not going to repeat any new serious stuff. Speaking okay. of which, you need to sign with I'm not going to be in here. Gotcha. So I'm trusting you. This is a trust test. All right. So you're going to literally all, like go through this whole audition with this guy. These guys are going to follow up, mm -hmm. but if we're looking at you have to be the one asking all these questions. Yeah, you take okay. one. Gotcha. All right, you got them all here, but you can come up with your own. Really right. grilling. We'll, we'll, we'll be jumping in with some questions yeah. too. Imagine okay. if you were actually auditioning this person. You know, what do you want to see? Yeah. Um, I'll actually. I'm not even going to be here. Cool. So trusting you. All right, Swift. All right. Good luck, guys. Next. Hey, who was uh, next on the list? You. Can you also come into the room too? Hey. You again? <laughs> you had your turn. You blind. Yeah, go right in. Huh? They're uh, they're expecting you, man. What's your experience, and uh, why do you want this job? So I usually do photography and film on a side. I'm a full-time computer technician on well, full time, <laughs> but. Uh, so I really enjoy doing like film and photography and stuff and I would love to have a chance to do it more as a career instead of fixing other people's crap for a living. All right, um, what's your ideal hours or salary? What are you looking to, to make? Something I can live off of without living at my parents and hours I've got all the time in the world You're if I'm able to quit Jesse my job. You're familiar with series and everything, right? Yes, I am. So out of the two cameramen, Corn and Parker, which one would you say that you would be most like, as not as a character but as a cameraman? I really watched more of the Psycho series. I didn't see much of uh, Parker's filming, however. Okay. But I feel like with filming, I would bring my own aspect to it. What can you? How can you convince us that you're the, the right man Closing for the camera? Statement. Okay. Um, if anything, I'm very dedicated in what I do. I put a lot of time in things. Usually, one thing that I do is like I'll edit a video and I won't even upload because I'll re-edit it multiple times. If you check like my exports, you'll have like version one, two, three, four, five. I'll get up to like seven before I feel I'm comfortable with putting it out there. I really don't like giving up on things. I like trying to create something new, have a different aspect to it, try and new things that people haven't really tried and see if it works and if it doesn't move on, try the next one. Okay. Let me ask you this. Have you ever done a hashtag triple M? Yes, I have. Uh, did you submit it? Uh, along with this process? Yes, I have. Okay. I have it on the laptop right there if you want to see. Uh, if you already submitted it by email or anything yeah, like that, no that's problem. one. Yeah. It's nice meeting you, Andrew. Well, Thanks for coming out. Thanks, Jesse. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Jeff. Did he think? Did he think that was me? <laughs> did he? Either that, or he thinks he's another person named Jesse. Did he? Am I crazy, or he? he... What the fuck? Because <laughs> he shook your hand. I was like, "Hey, did he, did he say it was like a pleasure to meet you?" No, I did. I haven't even talked to him out there. He said it was like a pleasure to meet you, and he yeah. said, "Thank." Did he say thanks, Jesse? Is that yeah, he kept saying Jesse to him, and then like. Yeah. I'm sorry. What did you guys think? Like now I'm kind of what, what, did you, what did you think of him? Uh, I thought he was pretty good at answering questions on the spot. I mean, you could tell he was a little nervous. His voice was a little shaky, but... Um. I, I like his answer about uh, 
gorilla run and gun, like he asked the traditional versus YouTube, that was a good question. And he was like, oh, I like the fusion. I like how it feels with cinematic mixed with kind of reality. Cause that is what we do. So that was a pretty good answer. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Uh, Swift, good song. All right, man. So how, how long have you been watching the, uh, the Psycho series? Then? Uh, Psycho series I watched since it first came out, uh, 2012. I saw the, the destruction of the Xbox with the dad. I saw that. Like Can we just age. get your name and your age first? Jesse Ridgeway, uh, 24. I live in East Bumble, which is like... Is that the actual town name? Pittsgrove? It's like 10 minutes from here. So you've been watching the whole... Yeah, I've been watching I've been watching Jesse's channel since 2006. I was one of the original 200 wow. subscribers. Oh, so you have a YouTube channel? Yes. What are you hoping to get out of uh, being a cameraman here? Um, I would love to just... I want to commit myself fully to whatever... I'll do whatever you guys need. Um, my channel would, I would still upload, but I would like to commit to the make, to the channel. So, but you'd still be uploading. I would still have to find. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't have to. I could find. I still find time to upload whenever I have free time. How big of a subscriber base do you have? Three and a half million. What? You have three and a half million. Yeah, that's why I think I could offer a lot to this production. Basically, the size of our audience. So we're gonna have a little bit of hesitancy because I'm stoned. Like I, I, I question where your loyalties would lie, honestly. I think it could be a good way to get more viewers. If you have three and a half million, I have three and a half million. It could be. We, I think we could get a lot of people to watch this. Whatever it is. Where do you see yourself in ten years? Work. Uh, if you still want to have me working for the channel, I'll be working for the channel. If not, maybe moving on to like traditional stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what. Jesse Ridgeway's goal is that's kind of conflicting with his. Like, do you guys are you guys gonna be competing? I mean, I'd be his that? friend, dude. If like he wanted to just go out to Hollywood, I would go with him. Whatever you want to do, like if it's a one year contract, I'll do one year. You know, it's. Mm -hmm. Can I can I take the last one there? The last question. Um, um, do you have a moral line that you won't cross? No. So you you film anything? All right, because the new series we're gonna give you a little bit of insight on that. Okay. Um, it's about bondage with women and we're gonna mm -hmm. have them in cages and it's gonna be that we're gonna actually feed them human flesh. Mm -hmm. And would you have any problems with? That's fine. Okay. Cause we're gonna like be exploring some sick shit. Yeah. Nice okay. to meet you. Yep. Oh, thanks. Thanks, a big fan of Larry. Oh, thanks. I mean, you like all young Larry. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, that Jeff, thanks. Thanks mm -hmm. guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So nice to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you too, dude. Thanks. Have a nice one. Yep. I've seen him before. It's kind of a dick. Yeah, I don't think he's right for this. No. I mean, he, I feel like he was going to like openly compete against you. That's what I think too. And I think that he had, I think that he wouldn't bend at all. You know what I mean? Like, if it, we were doing that series. Yeah. He seemed a little overconfident maybe. He seemed, a, yeah, a little bit too happy about that series too, yeah. which is a little disturbing. Yeah. So. yeah. Next. Yeah, next. We can't find anybody. Next. 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 Swift, next. 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 <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Maybe not, not treat it so much as, you know, future employer to... I know, uh, I know. It's hard, not to take it, it's hard not to take it seriously, though, because I care. I want I I mean, to get the job. It's not want to take it seriously. Right. It's that you want to go into it and, you know, see, okay, I'm, I'm a person sitting in front of another person. And this, and I, there's an opportunity where I could, you know, possibly make money, have a position here. Yeah. But I don't want to make it look like I'm trying to. I don't want to make I it look like, like. I feel like I did that shit. Yeah. And they're filming everything, so I'm like, I don't even. Like everyone's gonna see that. I'm really nervous. How did I do in there, honestly? I can't tell you, dude. You have to wait till the video comes out. Like Uncle Larry was really grilling me, and I thought he was like a stand-up guy, but like he was like. I'll be honest. He's done that with everybody. That's the only thing I will tell you today. So when do we hear back? Next they week. said Thursday. So if you don't get a phone call, then I'm sorry. Who's next? Good luck. Yeah, who, who's I mean, coming next with me? I'll, I'll like Carlos Mencia go. Right here. You, you, either, either you? Either you? Man, you know what? I'm not done. Uh, you're not I need done? to say some more stuff. Yeah, Yo, dude, hold on. No, no. No. If Ask you go in there, I'm gonna have Larry get something. I think Jesse's looking hurry. for somebody who was not gonna give up. I want to. I want to. Hold on. Hold on. Just hold it here. Larry, you may want to get that thing out of your bag. This, we got, yeah, um, just have it on standby. 
just. We said next. I, I know, but he's yeah, pushing might, the really come in. You might need to get out of here. I don't. I want this job. No, you well. I don't care. I will literally. You fucking hit me with that. Don't you fucking hit me. That was the line. That was the line. Um, yeah. They're, they're ready out there. They're all consoling me after my shit audition. You're up, man. What's up? Tim. Cool. Yeah. You're from LA. No, I'm from Bakersfield. Oh. Oh, okay, oh. gotcha, gotcha. You, you are from Cali, you're just Cali? Yeah. LA. Gotcha. Cool, man. Obviously, right off the top. Uh, are you moving out here? I would definitely be willing to if that's what it took. Yeah. Nice. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I am 21 years old. I've been in, uh, been in film for probably almost four years. Um, I'm more used to the traditional side of filmmaking, so I've been a cool. part of like some film festivals. Uh, what film festivals? Uh, there's one in my hometown called the Christian Youth Film Festival, um, and so I'm more in touch with like you know the tripod shots, pan shots, dolly shots. Awesome. Uh, you're, so I can definitely do the the handheld. I know I know you're into more the reality type handheld stuff, but I can I also have other tools in my repertoire that we can. What if I told you the next series wasn't handheld at all? Would that excite you? That would totally excite me. I'm cool. Up for. Uh, um, what would be your ideal hours and salary? I guess it would be uh, at twenty dollars an hour. Oh yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, but uh, I, it's uh, whatever you're feeling. My uh, my talents are worth. And then how about um, hours? Um, as many hours as you need me to work, man. Nice. I'm totally, I'm for you. Because if you'd be living out here, it'd pretty much be like yeah. you'd have not. You'd it'd be like all all this. Definitely, man. Uh, where, what is what is your goal uh, in life? My goal in life is to become a director in Hollywood. Um, love Quentin Tarantino. A director? Director. Not but, a camera person. But I can, I'm definitely also a camera person. Um, but the goal is to be a director. Goal is to be a director, but uh, I, I have most experience in, in the camera field. So, so where, where is the passion? Is it with directing then, if that's what you want to do? I would say it's like they're neck and neck. Okay. Yeah, and I definitely, I mean, as a director, I see things through the lens. So that would be, um, I can definitely uh, see your vision and help you accomplish that. I haven't heard that answer yet, and I like that. Um, I have not heard, a, I, I, think, I think about things through the lens. Like, I, I don't think like that, personally, okay. um, ironically. Uh, I think by stories and characters and relationships and uh, things like that. I'm looking for somebody who can think like that. Who can think through the lens? So I like that answer. Cool. Sweet man. Thanks very much, man. No problem. Appreciate you coming out. Thanks for uh, playing our little games in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you got the, the blue your backpacks ticket. Like, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you got the golden ticket. Uh, yeah, yeah. So were you nervous just then? Was it more nervous being there or here? Uh, definitely here. Yeah. Yes. I see that you have a nervous thing of going like this when you're talking a lot. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. That's all right. So did you talk to any of the guys out there before? I did. Okay. Yeah. So they knew you weren't Jesse. I'm did. pretty sure, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they all know who Jesse Why would you play along with it? You just, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Cool, man. I'll kind of put a little list. That's the things I want to say. Well. I thought he was pretty confident. I mean, I, I, the distance. I like him. He's got the Brennan, Brennan from the Doc Tallness. Mm -hmm. I, I, I cannot stress, guys, that was the first time I've heard somebody who actually seemed passionate about Being a filming. About the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's been some awesome people here. Why couldn't he live in New Jersey? I know! Like, he thinks through the lens of a camera, he's thinking of shot choices, and I know, I, that's exactly what I was saying mm -hmm. before he came in. I was like, I'm looking for that person, and he came in and thinks that way. Like, it's a special kind of person, it's a, a kind of brain, how they work, and it breaks things up like that, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Next! Yeah. So guys? We, uh, we ordered some food, super pumped. Uh, we only got three guys left, unless somebody randomly pops in late. Yeah, Could yeah. happen. Um, it is, it is the work week, and the school week. Maybe just pick a Rowan, we have one Rowan student. Oh, right. Uh, what, where do you live? So I live in uh, West Islip, Long Island. All right, and how's that gonna work? Um, so, uh, whatever, whatever we end up doing. It's all, only about two and a half hours away from here. I guess that's a little bit, a little far, but wouldn't mind taking the trip. So if you got the job, you'd be cool with driving every day? Every day, uh, I, well not every day, possibly. Uh, I guess I would have to work something out, living situation. So you would be willing to relocate? Yeah, I would. Tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Um, so basically, uh, uh, I've been interested in film for a long time. 
I uh, went to college for communications, marketing, did a little bit of psychology, but uh, didn't minor in psychology, but I took a bunch of classes on that. Over the summer, I did a job where I was an assistant uh, filmmaking teacher um, when I was there. For kids, uh, two groups I taught, 8 to 11, and then about 13 to 17. Uh, did stuff like lighting, uh, setting up cameras, doing the tripod. They had you around kids? Uh, yeah. Who, who uh, were you most like, cameraman-wise? Corner Parker? I would in terms say, of like camera work, not necessarily personality. I would say probably Corn. Uh, I remember most most uh, on the last video where you killed Psycho Dad. Um, the shot where you were lingering on the mirror. The mirror where you had Psycho Dad. Oh no, you had yourself. And the mirror was sort of placed in that one spot where you could see what was going on uh, on the side where the camera wasn't pointing. I feel like that's a shot that I would want to do. Um, a shot where you see more of what's happening outside the like the camera view, uh, kind of using sort of creative like technical aspect. Getting tricky with the camera work. Yeah. Uh, Corn really did. did. He did. He, did. he, did. Job he was one. really yeah. And 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 the shot in the one of the original videos where um, for the Xbox where you where Psycho Dead burned it and then you ran outside and looking. Oh, the, the shot was camera work Korn, there. Korn yeah. Did great at that yeah. time, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, Even the timing where. Uh, Basically, as soon as he got to the window, the Xbox was thrown, like right at that exact moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a, yeah corn did great then. <laughs> Missed the guy. Yeah. Especially he, when he shot, did you see Psycho Kid Flea's Country? Yeah. 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 An impressive video. That one. Yeah, yeah corn did great there too. So, did, you didn't say a weakness though. Oh, a weakness. Yeah, okay, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so for weakness, I would say I'm definitely unaware uh, of who filmed certain videos? Um, Jeffrey shot like, all, all those videos I shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. You did shoot that video. Yeah. He shot the all first all of the ones. Literally every single one. He shot Kills Father and he shot Flea's Country. You're right. Yeah, sorry, and, and the Switzerland <laughs> ones. And, sorry. Yeah. That, that, was was your like, camera, that was your camera. So you're more like I'm Jeffrey. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm more. Oh, you're more like Jeffrey. Than <laughs> Without even knowing it. You already got one of these. Yes. I love that he totally picked every video that Jeffrey shot. I was like, really? Really? Yeah, corner great job with those. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Thanks, dud. All right, cool man. Have a stand on the X and just tell us, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. All right. Um, obviously, my name is Kyle. I'm uh, originally from Tampa, Florida. Mm. Uh, and thank you you're not there right now. Yeah, mm. and now I moved to Charleston. Oh. So now that's nice. currently flooded. So. But that's where you currently live. Yeah. So you drove Charleston. out here. Yeah. Ten hours. What happens? You get the job. Relocate. Nice, man. Yeah. I like so. that you just were like flat out about it. Relocate. Oh yeah. What are you looking to get out of this? Um, I'm looking for um, experience. Are you a storyteller? Yeah. And that's what you love, love to do. Yeah. I love yeah. to write. Um, be behind the camera, in front of the camera, anything. What What gets you the most excited? The most excited is probably bring something that someone else wrote to life or that I wrote. Mm -hmm. So um, I love being in front of the camera though. Um, but being behind the camera, I love too. I just, it doesn't really matter. And um, we'll be in touch. Okay, thank you. Cool. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too, man. Have a good night. Pleasure. You too. Nice to meet you. Keep it rigid. Thank you. Are you, you driving back down? Um, tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah, we're nice. probably gonna find a parking lot and sleep on our car for the night, so. Okay. Respect. Okay. Nice. See ya. Yeah, you got a good one. Me too. Charleston! Alright, what'd you guys think? He's gonna find a parking lot and sleep under a car for the night? Is that what My man doing? sleeping in his car! I like that. I thought he was sleeping uh, under a car. I like that. was one of the first times I heard a very strong I would relocate. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I, we didn't have to ask him if he was. Yeah, yeah, he, he jumped in. Um, he's my age, which is cool. I think there's some maturity that comes with that. All right, we got last one. There we Woo, go. Let's we do think, it. We think. Cool. Uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, well, uh, my name's Thomas Myers. I'm, uh, I'm from Burlington. Uh, as of right now, I am a marketing associate. Um, uh, let's let's pause for uh, Burlington. Yeah. How far away is that? Uh, it's around like 30 minutes. Oh, in New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's not bad. So you'd be just commuting? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, plus at my current job, I drive upwards of, you know, 45 minutes to an hour, so a half hour drive is nothing. Where do you work? I work at Luxury Bath Technologies. I'm a marketing agent, uh, the senior marketing agent 
Uh, so what they do is they send me off, you know, any which way, and they just ask me to sell a product there. You're a salesman. I am. A lot uh, of expectation uh, now uh, in the interview. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, so you play the guitar? Uh, yes, I do. Um, cool. I play uh, four instruments. Juliet, where you at? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Do you sing? Uh, I do. <laughs> you sing a song for Juliet? She'll uh, watch this video. She'll be impressed. Are you alternative? Yeah. That's perfect. Do you know, uh, I don't know, Jenny was a friend of mine? Uh, do you know, how, does she listen to Death Cab for Cutie? Yes. All right, um, I'll follow you in the dark. Does she know that song? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she loves that song, actually. <laughs> All right, uh, well, let me do my best. Yeah. Uh. La love of mine, someday you will die, but I'll be close behind. I'll follow you into the dark. No blinding light, or tunnels to gates of white, just our heads clasped so tight. All right, cool. All right, uh, you're, you're moving on, American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, man. That's awesome that you're comfortable to do that. Um, yeah. What are you looking to get out of this? Wow, I actually didn't really think about that. Uh, about that, I, I kind of came down here just because I, I wanted the experience. I'm not looking to, I'm not, I don't really want to do this to make money. I, I don't really think that's anything that I ever really considered. Uh, I want to I, I do this because it's something that I like to do. And I think if all I get out of it is a, uh, an experience, if all I get out of it is, you know, <laughs> getting to work, getting to work in a professional environment and getting to, to work on some really interesting projects, I think I'd be, I'd, I'd be set. <laughs> I don't need any, I don't need anything more. Um, what is the hardest thing you've ever had to do? This one's kind of personal, but I can get into it. Um, yeah, no, it's fine. The hardest thing that I ever really had to do was admit that my uh, that my biological dad wasn't really someone I wanted to to spend time with. I I did watch your series a lot, and I actually I, I gravitated towards it a lot because my dad wasn't you know uh, as eh, as out, as out there as the Psycho Dad character was, he was more of a he was a much more reserved type of person. But that wasn't really what kept me away. It was that um, I haven't seen the man in probably about sixteen years now, and the last time I saw him was three years ago. Uh, and by saw him, I mean spent a lot of time with him. And the last time I saw the guy, uh, he he blamed every every single downfall that happened between him and my mom on my mother. Mm. And the difference is, you know, my mom was there. She was there taking care of me. She was there, you know, getting through it with my stepdad. And versus, you know, my dad got the first chance to leave and he took it. Uh, so when I sat there and I had lunch with that guy, I just, I really had to make the executive decision on, wow, this is, I. I don't want to know this person. And I think that's probably the toughest thing that I ever really had to had to go through. It took a couple months for me to do that. Wow. Good answer. So you've been watching the channel for a while? Yeah. Um, um, I've been watching it since 2011 or 2012. Okay, around the first Psycho video? Yeah, probably around that. I don't know exactly when it started, but I do remember I saw the first, I saw the first video and I just was I was astounded that you know something like that could take place. I guess one question would be, uh, if, if I asked you for a two shot, what would you give me? Um, that's a two shot. That's two people in the frame. Yes. Awesome. You passed the little very simple <laughs> test. Sometimes you know when we're filming, I'll, I'll throw out a term or something. So it's cool that you know those. Um, but that's I mean that's something I can go over because I even I have my own terms. I might say tits and up. That's not an industry term. That's something, you know, it's just literally tits and up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know about like headroom, right? Yeah, uh, making sure that, you know, the per the person's head doesn't cover the entire uh, the entire screen. Right, and there's also got too much space. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then how about just like, how about like speaking room? Do you know what that is? Um, not standing too close. Um, now, so as far as framing the camera, if I'm looking this way to Uncle Larry and talking to him, when you film me, you're going to have a little bit of space in front of the direction in which I'm talking. Uh, we'll be in touch. Just make sure in that email you send to me, you include uh, 
phone number or something, Absolutely. or I'll just reply to that email. Would you? I mean, I could write my phone number down for you right now. Do that. If you really let's, want? Let's do that. Okay. Can I just give you a little life advice? Yeah. Um, don't count your dad out of your whole life. All right. Just remember that. I mean, because he will. You only get one dad. And I've had a lot of problems with my dad throughout my whole life. And there will be a time when your dad is not going to be around, for real. Like when he's going to pass and all that stuff. I, so just remember that, and I know that your your situation is not the same as mine. It's a lot different because your dad left you and everything. I just want you to, to keep that in the back of your mind that don't count him completely out. Believe me, it's it's something that I think about quite yeah. often. Uh, but then I kind of circle around to I have a really great stepdad. No, I understand that, uh, but your dad is still your dad, right? You're part of your dad. And you're, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just remember that and don't ever give up completely on your dad. Don't do that. Okay? Even though you feel that he's completely given up on you, don't. Just life advice, I'm just saying. Just keep that, keep open mind with that, okay? Yeah, I, I think about it from time to time. I think about, you know, calling him at some point or, you know, going up there and seeing him, but... Because, you know, your dad's probably how old? Uh, my dad's, I think, probably around 60 at this point. Okay. I mean, there's going to be a time where he's going to sit back and reflect and say, man, and it, it might have already happened that he really misses having a relationship with, with you. So, I mean, just keep, in other words, all I'm saying to you is don't cut it out completely. Just always have an open mind, all right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, issues with parents is something that kind of runs in my family. But mm -hmm. I do 100% hear, hear what you're saying. Yeah. I, and, and I... I don't know exactly how it's gonna go, but I think maybe at some point in the near future I do need to say something. What you guys think? Uh, it, you know, again, it comes down to camera work. I love his personality. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was, I thought he was personable. Um, he seemed to say everything the opposite of what, like... With the camera guys, The camera, yeah, the camera the, stuff, yeah, kind yeah, of backwards. Camera stuff, uh, I was surprised he liked the Psycho series more because it had more depth. I agree with that, 100%. Well, with character development, would you say that the character Isaac wasn't... That's it, guys. We're going to leave this on here just for memories. Oh, um, no, right, sir. Who wants to help carry some shit? Oh. I'm going to get the... Uh... Why, your spleen? No, no. Why aren't you doing anything, bitch? Because I'm holding the camera. Dude, no. I can hold the camera. I'm going to close off the video. Come on! Mush, mush! Put some pep in that set, bitch! There you go. Oh my God. You ain't gonna impress me by going two miles an hour. Um, you guys can go up ahead. I'm gonna close off the video by myself. I actually have a personal message I want to share with the juggies. Uh, nice. Don't take long. Though. The puppies are outside still. So. I'm just glad my dad's not here. Like, hey, dad, you gotta get to pay these guys. He's outside. <laughs> nuh uh. No, wow, nice. Yeah, I'll see you guys out of the car. Right, nice. nice job. Thank you. Thank you for your services. No problem. All right, Jace. Uh, just want to say, because some of you guys watched the first audition video and this one thinking like, wow, Jesse, you're pretty harsh. Um, I, I just, I just want to say this. Thank you guys so much for coming out for the auditions. Uh, it, was, it was seriously a very rewarding experience. Um, I, I do have to preface this with saying like, it is nothing personal. Like I genuinely respect all you guys and I'm not looking for a fan per se. I'm just looking for somebody who... Why are you following me? Keep her rigid. Let me take the camera for you. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. I'm gonna watch something back. Alright.